The purpose of this video is to concisely present our research based on the following question. Is a naturalist biased towards charismatic megafauna megaflora? Please stay tuned as we delve further into our topic. We decided to research this concept because ever since we were introduced to a naturalist, we couldn't help but notice the recurrent observations the class was making while using the app. Therefore, we wondered whether other users have the same experiences and that they only captured organisms that are more well-known or obvious landscapes. For example, common trees, grasses, birds. Through diligently investigating through the app, we were able to not only understand whether or not users are drawn towards more common species, but also how the mechanisms of the app source their data and categorize the organisms found. The concept that there are large animal and plant species that are easily identifiable and hold symbolic value is known as charismatic megafauna megaflora. Charismatic megafauna megaflora was a term first used as an approach to save endangered species. The idea was that if people were able to recognize them, the more public attention the animals received. A naturalist was used to help identify plants and animals as its main objective is to give people the opportunity to find organisms and classify them. This is a quick and efficient social network that allows you to easily learn about the living biodiversity around you. Our research was centered on whether the iNaturalist app has an affinity for charismatic megafauna megaflora. By analyzing organisms that were categorized under this classification, we will be able to figure out whether there is a bias. We also want to be able to determine if this causes restrictions from finding endangered species or discovering new species. With our research, we are trying to determine if people using iNaturalist prefer to capture the common species in the place that surrounds them. Our hypothesis and null hypothesis are as follows. iNaturalist users have a clear affinity for larger, more visually appealing organisms. Size and physical appearance do not factor into the findings of our naturalist users. The predictions for this experiment are as follows. Based on the idea that iNaturalist is often used by curious everyday users, one can predict that the organisms that are most likely identified are easily recognizable and native to an area near them. Hence, there is a bias. Our objective is to decipher whether or not iNaturalist is biased specifically towards large charismatic animals and plants. Our terms to know. These are the terms that were used to describe the variety of plants and animals that were observed. Charismatic are plants and animals that are regal, somewhat harmless, obvious parts of the landscape, and or provide landscape beauty. Megafauna or megaflora are large animals and plants that are over 100 pounds in the North American region, for example, moose or giant sequoia. Charismatic megafauna or megaflora serve as symbols or flagship species and rally points to enhance conservation awareness and action. Easy recognizable, i.e. mule deer, ponderosa pine, bighorn sheep. The methodology of our experiment tackled four aspects. These aspects include one, what top 10 species were studied in each state, meaning what species were most commonly observed. Two, the number of species observed totally, meaning the total number of all species observed in that particular state. Three, the percentage of each species out of the total observed in the state, meaning the specific percentage of that species. And four, if each species is charismatic, megafauna, megaflora, or neither, which we based off the definitions we gathered. All of these aspects were applied throughout the collection of data. Once the data of the 48 states was found, we broke the states into the five regions of the U.S., the Pacific region, the Frontier region, the South, the Midwest, and the Northeast. These regions were then used to have the tallies broken up and so we could make the pie charts. In this region, we found that 32% of the species were megafauna, 26 of them were charismatic, and 42% were neither. 
frontier region, we found that 30% of the species were megafauna, 26 of the species were charismatic, and 44% were native. For the South region, there was 49% neither, 14% megafauna, and 37% charismatic. For example, in the state of Arkansas, American black bears were considered to be megafauna as well as white-tailed deer, and the monarch common box turtle and prairie lizard were considered to be charismatic. The rest of the species out of the top 10 were not. For the Midwest region, there was 38% neither, 13% megafauna, and 49% charismatic. The American bison was megafauna, the monarch and the American white pel pelican was charismatic, and the rest were neither. In the Northeast region, 33% was neither, 19% was megafauna, and 48% was charismatic. For example, in the state of Maryland, the white-tailed deer, two, tree, and the white oak was megafauna, the monarch, common box turtle, poison ivy, eastern gray squirrel, squirrel, and Canada goose was charismatic, and the rest of the 10 were neither. iNaturalist is an app that connects you to your surrounding environment by assisting you in identifying different species of plants and animals. The point of the use of iNaturalist in this experiment was to have a reliable source of observations that identified whether organisms were charismatic or megafauna, megaflora in North American regions. Organisms that couldn't be seen by the naked eye made the app ineffective, which creates biases. Outside of this particular project, the app encourages curiosity and leads to new discoveries. Therefore, not only will we discover if iNaturalist is biased towards charismatic megafauna or megaflora, but the curiosity of students will lead to new discoveries. Our discussion is as follows. Based on our data from our naturalist, we can conclude that a naturalist isn't biased in aspects of charismatic megafauna data. Majority species were, were neither, and this proves that people observed multiple species on our naturalist. Two out of the five regions, the Midwest and Northeast, show that little less than half were, were charismatic. This doesn't support the hypothesis. Our conclusion is as follows. The app iNaturalist isn't biased in organisms being identified as megaflora, megafauna, and charismatic. This excludes the results and data, but were close in proximity, proximity throughout all three options. This shows that organism, organisms have 33% of being found in either categories, which sucks for the organisms without charisma. This rejects the hypothesis and supports the no hypothesis. We would like to acknowledge the following authors and journals that we utilize to help us expand on our research. We would also like to give a special shout out to our Biology 106 professor, Dr. Sean T. Dash. Thank you for all of your help.